it's a pleasure to be back with all of you. I feel like this is the home parish, so to speak. This seems to be the place where I see the most number of faces that I recognize. So it's sort of like a family meeting. The formal title of the lecture is Nature is the Center of the Mandala. And this is really basically simply a, uh, a structure to work off of to anticipate and discuss where nature lies in the future, the cultural future that is unfolding in front of all of us. And to background my thoughts on this matter a little bit, I have always had a relationship to nature which I pretty much took for granted, but perhaps it was, uh, it was more intense and somewhat unique than most people's. I grew up uh, in a small town in Colorado. I was very early into being a rock hound and then a butterfly collector. I had no interest in stamps or baseball cards or anything like that. It was always natural objects. And uh, the attraction of tropical butterflies was the, it, the exuberant expanse of color, the affirmation of the uh, patterned richness of the universe that was seen to be thrown out like a spark by these things. And eventually I pursued it quite far and was for some time a professional butterfly collector in uh, tropical Indonesia in a pre-Buddhist incarnation. And uh, this search for iridescence thrown off by nature, seen first in the glint of metallic ore crystals and, uh, and then in the colorful expanse of butterflies and then in tropical fish, uh, reached a kind of apotheosis with the discovery of uh, the psychedelic plant hallucinogens where suddenly the color, the flash, the iridescence was not uh, two or three dimensional but it was multidimensional. It was inside one, outside one. It, it was like the ultimate tropical aquarium, the ultimate butterfly cabinet, the ultimate mineral show. And uh, it led me to travel then and to place the particular experience of nature in the wider context of place. And I traveled in Indonesia, as I mentioned, where because of glaciation uh, and the shallowness of the oceans, uh, evolution has been proceeding at different rates on different islands relative to the depths of the separating channels. So as you go from island to island in Indonesia, it's like stepping into ten different bedrooms all by the same interior decorator, but all slightly different. Different because of the context in which the evolution took place. And uh, these times spent, and then of course there were the times in the Amazon, which most of you have heard me lecture on, where the pursuit of psychedelic plants was really in the forefront. But uh, I came to see nature as experienced, meaning as it hits you when you walk around in it and pick at it and carry it with you, that this kind of nature had been read out of uh, the repertoire of images that most people bring to bear on their reality. And consequently, the reality is uh, de-spirited. The, the spirit resident in nature is not visible when these mechanistic grids are laid over it. The sort of